Hi there, I want to try the new uh, beer battered cod basket, please. Okay, what side? Um, let me get it with, uh, I guess, coleslaw. Okay, would that be all? That's it. I'll have your total the window. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. You too, thank you. All right, guys, we've got our food here. The brand new beer battered cod from Long John Silver's. I'm gonna find a spot, we're gonna park it. Welcome back everybody to an all new fast food pit stops. I'm your host, Justin. I'm here at Long John Silver's. You can see it right here under the visor. They've got a little drive through set up. Long John Silver's, of course, traditionally has their diamond-shaped fish. And I've been here in the past and I've tried renditions of that, but this is their new beer-battered cod. It's 100% wild-caught Alaskan cod, which still probably means that they gathered them in a net. I doubt that Doc Johnson was down on the old docks fishing and I caught me a salmon. No, because there's not enough old men in the sea anymore fishing for fish, but this is wild caught, caught in a wild net. Beer battered cod, Alaskan cod. So the basket is $5.99 and that includes two of the wild Alaskan cod, beer battered cod fillets, hush puppies, and then a side of your choosing. At the drive-through, I chose coleslaw when I ordered it, but I had buyer's remorse and I ended up picking the fries. They told me they were gonna make everything fresh and who doesn't love piping hot French fries? Let's take a look. Oh man, and it does already look a lot different, of course, than the normal Long John Silver's fillets that we're all used to. You can tell it's definitely a different type of fillet. It's really battered up and it's super hot here. The fries are hot, the fish is hot. Looks like we've got two fish fillets. Oh yeah, man, they are friggin' hot too. Take a look. They've got little crunchies on here. Battered up super nice in that beer batter. I'm not really, I guess, getting a smell of beer but we are gonna check it out. $5.99 on this, you guys. What do you think there? You get two pretty good wild-caught Alaskan cod. I've said it like five times. Their normal fish is like uh, processed. I think it consists of pollock, uh, which is a white fish. Of course, cod being uh, the more traditional fish that you would get with fish and chips. And they've taken it a step further and battered it in beer, hand-dipped, hand-battered, I'm not making that up. That's what the description says. And I believe everything I read. There's the second one, listen. Oh man, that's really hot to do this. But listen, I'll sacrifice my fingers. Oh, you guys. Look, it's just flaking apart. Here, this is gonna be it. We're just gonna have to do it here. A first bite, big bite, of the new beer battered cod from Long John Silvers. Look how that just literally came off like a fish nugget right off the chub there. You can see how thick that batter is, but you kind of see it's nice and light. You should be able to see right through that. It's translucent, it looks good, it's super fresh. It's oily as you can see, of course. Here we go, first bite, big bite. I can't make it too big, you guys. It, honest to God, it's really hot, but I'll try. Oh man, big bite. Oh, oh, hot. Mm. The fish is super delicate. It has absolutely no fishy flavor or smell to it, but it's a nice, white, firm fish. Mm. It's so greasy though. Maybe some napkins. The batter itself uh, is a little bit more robust than their normal fish batter. You know, it's a little bit thicker, but I'm not really sure that I can detect, you know, beer or a taste or a flavor. It just tastes like good fish batter, really. You know, it's a little bit heavier than their normal batter, uh, which I find to be a little more flaky and uh, kind of a golden yellowish color. This is noticeably darker. Of course, it still retains that crispiness and that oiliness. Let me just take a look at that fish. See how it just flakes apart like that? Yeah, that's exactly what you wanna see. Look, that separation, it's like just coming off in chunks. 
Mm. It tastes really good. If you're not familiar with a hush puppy, it's almost like a biscuit dough that is deep fried, except they're using a cornmeal. And it kind of has like a little bit of a, almost like a celery smell to it. Some kind of herbs that they use here in their hush puppies. I can never really figure it out. Mm. But it is traditional to have hush puppies with fish. You get two of those there. Man, look at that crust, right? It's super intense. We got our fries here that we switched from the coleslaw. Not really uh, any seasoning it looks like on them. Mm. I mean, the fries are okay. But really here, we're here to check out the fish. Let me just show you guys and this filet. See how it just kind of comes apart? And there's all of the white meat. It's like beyond flaky. It's almost just chunky. Fat old fish nuggets. See that? It's perfect, right? Looks pretty good. I mean, for $5.99, that's typically what a Long John Silver's platter kind of goes for. So the price seems to be okay. And I don't really know what exactly I was expecting with the whole beer batter concept, but I've had some experience testing out some beer items and each of those definitely had a more of a distinct beer taste. With this though, the beer batter, maybe it just kind of gets lost in the flavor of the fish or it's just really not super apparent in the breading here. But you honestly could have just fooled me and told me this was their regular fish that they just used in a little bit of a dirtier batter because it kind of has that little more of a robust flavor to it. Like you can tell it's not their regular fish and obviously looks nothing like their regular fish fillets that they use. But I think on a scale of one to 10, as I sit here and devour this plate, I would say that the fish platter here was about average. Honest to God, I'd probably give it like a five. And I happen to just be super hungry today because I haven't eaten anything. So don't let it fool you that I'm sitting here chowing down so good on an average meal. But it really is just that. I mean, the fish was okay. Nothing else here was really incredible. But for $5.99, you are getting two really nice pieces of fish. Something that's not the traditional Long John Silver's fish fillet. So if that's your angle, if you want to try something new from Long John Silver's, a good couple of pieces of fish here. They've got it in the new, brand new beer battered cod. I'm just gonna go on out here on a last bite, big bite of what's left of my beer battered cod platter. I guess we'll just stack it. And we'll add a little tartar sauce too. Could ask for some malt vinegar. As always, thanks again everybody for checking out another great review here on Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin. You know you love it. You came back for some more of it. I'll be back for another fast food review. Bye everybody. Big bite. Cheers.